In the 7.2 Go, we're reviewing how to do recursive and explicit equations. Okay, so what we have here are either arithmetic or geometric sequences, and we're gonna write the rules. We're gonna write a recursive and an explicit rule. The explicit rule is one that you can just substitute any value in. It won't talk about using previous terms, whereas the recursive describes what you do to the previous to make this next term. So take a look at the first problem, look at number nine. How's the pattern changing? What do you notice? Are we adding, are we multiplying? What are we doing here? Well, there's a couple of different ways to describe it. One way might be say, hey, it's adding some points on the edges. That it's almost like a pentagon being added around. And every time I'm doing this, I'm just adding in five more points than I did the previous. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, if we're adding five, that means it has to be arithmetic. It's got a common difference. The common difference is we're adding five each time. And we'll use that to write our rules now. We can look back at where we started. The first step had six dots, and each time we're adding five. So let's write some rules. When you do the explicit, I usually start by saying, okay, f of n, to predict the number of dots, what are we doing? We started with six dots. We're adding, so plus. How many were we adding each time? Five, so we're gonna say plus five, and then parentheses, what term is it that had six dots? If it's the zeroth term, then it's just n. If it was the first term, then it's n minus one. If it's the second term, then it's n minus two, and so on. Well, our six dots is from step one, so that's quantity n minus one. When you say f of n equals six plus five quantity n minus one, n minus one means in the first step, there were six dots, and we're adding fives each time. What about the recursive rule? Well, a recursive rule has two parts. What's the first part you have to write? Well, before you tell me how to count, you gotta tell me where to start counting from. So, how many dots did the first step have? Well, it had six. And then we talk about, what do you do to the previous term? To find any term, f of n, what are you doing to the previous term, f of n minus one? Well, we said it already, you're adding five. So any term is the previous, plus five. So any of these ones down here that are arithmetic, it's gonna look like this. The explicit will be a linear equation, and then the recurf recursive is just gonna be your, whatever you're starting at, and then any term is the previous, plus what? Well, let's do a geometric example. Let's find one that's multiplying. For instance, let's go down the table, and let's look at number 13. They want us to do the same thing. They want an explicit function and recursive. So look at that table down on 13. How are the outputs changing? How do we go from negative five to 25 to negative 125 to 625? What are we doing? Well, hopefully said, we're multiplying by negative five. Negative five times negative five would make 25. 25 times negative five is negative 125. And negative 125 times negative five is positive 60, 625. All right. How do we write this? Let's start with the explicit. Any term, where do we start? Well, that first term in the table is negative five, so we're starting at negative five. What are we doing each time? Well, we're not adding, now we're multiplying. So multiply, parentheses. What are we multiplying by? Negative fives. So we're starting at negative five, we're multiplying by negative fives. Now, what term was it? If it was the zeroth term, we'll just say raised to the n. If it's the first term, we'll have n minus one. If it's the second term, n minus two, and so on. Well, the negative five was the first term. So we'll use raised to the n minus one. The way this is written, it's saying the first term was negative five, and from there, we're multiplying by negative fives. So f of n equals negative five times negative five raised to the n minus one. Now, anytime that what you're multiplying by is what you started at, we can also say it's just, it can be rewritten easier, it's just negative five raised to the n. But this is fine. I'm good with that. Okay, how about the recursive? How does the recursive change when it becomes geometric? Well, instead of adding, we're multiplying. We still say where to start. So what was our first term? That's right, it was negative five. So the first term is negative five. And what are we doing to the previous term? Ah, we're multiplying now. So you just say any term is the previous, and then in this case, times negative five. All right, so you're just gonna do the same thing for the rest. Good luck.